Happy Monday, everyone. This is Martha with Nature Niche. And this week, I thought it would be fun to focus on the lovely fall color of our native plants. Now, for the physiology behind um, what makes those beautiful colors, check out Monday with Martha number 20 um, to learn more about, yeah, that fall leaf physiology. I wanted to share uh, just some different species this time uh, for us to enjoy. So one of the um, brightest and most prevalent fall colors around Midland, Michigan is red maple, Acer rubrum. And it can go from green to yellow to that very vibrant red color. Um, one, of the, one of the first fall colors that we pick up here. Uh, silver maple, Acer saccharinum, um, sometimes hybridizes with red maple and you get that uh, more yellow uh, fall color. And of course, one of the most vibrant of our maples, sugar maple, Acer saccharum, um, starts out with the yellow and can turn beautiful orange and reds as well. Another yellow maple is striped maple or moosewood, Acer pennsylvanicum. And then there's American beech, Fagus grandifolia. You often see that growing with sugar maple, but starts out that beautiful golden yellow and turns the coppery tan color. And that species is marcescent, um, meaning it hangs on to its winter leaves as are uh, some of the younger oaks. Another yellow fall color, American basswood, Tilia americana. You'll also see this with beech and sugar maple. As well as our hickories. This is shagbark hickory, Caryovada. Beautiful yellow fall color. Um, and bitternut hickory, Caria cordiformis. Also really pretty yellow fall color. This is black gum or tupelo, Nyssa sylvatica. This is a nice big one in a local cemetery. You can see the leaves go from yellow to a crimson red color. Just gorgeous red fall color for this species. And then witch hazel, another beautiful yellow one, Hamamelis virginiana. If you wanna learn more about this fall flowering species, check out Monday with Martha number 23. There are the strappy like uh, yellow petals on the fall flowers of witch hazel. Very vibrant um, shrub or small um, understory tree. And one of my favorites, sassafras, sassafras albidum. Starts out that bright yellow color and can get orangey and red with um, lots of sunny fall days. Just a gorgeous um, tree. This is big tooth aspen, Populus grandidentata, with showing all sorts of fall colors. And then trembling or quaking aspen, Populus tremuloides. Lots of different yellow and gold hues. Um, these trees often form um, clones. And as my woody plants and forest ecology professor Bert Barnes like to say in German, Aspen uberalis, aspen overall, beautiful fall color. And the oaks have been really colorful this fall. This is upland pin oak, Quercus ellipsoidalis. This is northern red oak, Quercus rubra. You can see it's going from green to yellow. And then here's an example of that red fall color. And then the white oaks, uh, Quercus alba going from green to kind of red and orange and even a deep wine color this year. Very lovely. This is a downy service berry, Amelanchier arborea, showing its red fall color. Thinking about shrubs, this is staghorn sumac, Rus tythina, a clone known for its flaming red. Um, fall color, and fragrant sumac, Rus aromatica, which tends to be yellows and oranges in the fall. Here's pagoda or alternate leaf dogwood, Cornus alternifolia, just starting to show its red fall color, and red osier dogwood, Cornus cerisia, both with the red uh, bark on the twigs and red leaves. 
This is wild red raspberry, uh, Rubus strigosus, showing some yellow. And don't forget about our native grasses. This is little blue stem grass, Schizocarium scoparium, with pretty red tan fall color and fuzzy white seeds. Also in the fuzzy seed category, common milkweed, Asclepius syriaca. Now's the time to collect your milkweed seed for monarchs. And don't forget about all of our beautiful fungi. I'm not good at identifying exactly what it is, but it is prolific right now in the fall with all sorts of colors and textures. And as you're looking around at the leaves, you might see these guys, banded woolly bear caterpillars, which will be Isabella tiger moths next year. So I hope you get out, enjoy uh, what's left of our fall color. And um, even if the leaves are, are dropping, there's still plenty of fun to be had with those colorful leaf piles. I hope you get out, enjoy uh, what nature has to offer this time of year. Take care and have a good week.